and that's why he's the greatest. Hello YouTube and welcome to the latest video by me, Work, Rest and Play Snooker. As you can see, I'm going to attempt to take on Stephen Hendry's Tough Table Challenge. So the day after Mark Williams did this and uh, got a break of 24, which I was a little bit surprised because I thought there was going to be a one in front of it, I have to say. Um, yeah, I thought I'd get myself down the club and give it a try. So let's have a look. Now, I'm playing this a little bit tactically because I want to try and get rid of these two um, harder reds near the top cushion first, just to try and make my life a bit easier going forwards. But if I'm honest, if I can beat 24 and get maybe into the 30s, I will be absolutely over the moon. If I get into the 40s, well, that or above is just ridiculous for me, from this position anyway. So... Yeah, stay with me and let's see where we get to. Now the thoughts here, just get away from the cushion. Try and leave myself an angle on the black to continue up the table. But I've gone and left it a fraction off straight. Um... And you'll see me get down and it looks like I can try and screw back and flick that red that I'm leaning over off the cushion. But sadly not. I have got into the keyboard quite well there so at least I'm on the red to left middle. But I just haven't hit low enough on the cue ball, so I've left myself an awkward blue. But if I play this with right hand side, hopefully the red next to left middle, I might be able to develop that. Ah, oh, so close. It's going to take a good shot here to continue the break, but it's going to be the red above the green, I think. As it's the only one that seems to get me back down the table. Playing out for any sort of bulk colour, or if I manage to get into it enough, then I'll be able to play onto the blue. which I've left myself a nice angle there, so I'm not going to try and go into the pink. I just want to drop this one in and leave myself either the single red above the black or the one on the side cushion nearest the pocket. And as I can reach that one nicely, as long as I drop this one in pocket weight, I will stay on black or pink. So black to get into the 30s, which from this position I really wouldn't have been expecting to get to. Still with the four reds below the pink intact. So no f funny business with this one. Drop this in. And again, leaving a shot on either pink or black to leave myself an angle to work with to get to the next red. So 
So I've got a nice little angle here to screw the pink into the middle and develop these three. But sadly, although we've got into the 40s, I've left myself very awkward because uh, I didn't get through the cue ball well enough. So risky double with the red next to the left middle, uh, right middle, or red to the right of the black with the spider is <clears throat> probably the best option. Um, it does mean that I am going into the black, so it's just with this one, as long as I can pot the red and hit the black hard enough so that both the white and the black bounce off the top cushion so I'll have some sort of shot on it that'd be great so it's just about come far enough away uh, thoughts here if I can if I can sort of stun this one in and get over just above the red closest to the right hand pocket then I'll be able to play it obviously into that pocket and then get back to pink or black but I've gone slightly wrong I think I concentrated too much there on putting the black just to make sure I got over 50 if I'm honest but we have cannoned it and we are sort of still on it as it does just about go past the blue up into the yellow pocket so concentrating 100% on the pot there was, the white was always going to go up and be on the choice of blue or pink um, I had wanted to play the blue actually but I've left myself dead straight so the shot is here to play the pink in pocket weight and cannon into the red just below it to leave myself a shot on the red to the left corner I thought it was quite a risky shot to take on but the risk reward on here was was too good to miss And that's actually worked out perfectly how I thought it was going to. Couldn't be happy with that. Uh, no, no funny business with this one. Same as before, drop it in, leave an angle on pink or black to get to the next red. I really would like to uh, hear one of the professional commentators watching you know, this because I'm sure they would absolutely tear me to shreds on shot selection, positional play. Yeah, I mean the balls are going in but it's not pretty. Although that one felt nice. So we're up into the 60s. Which, when you consider that my best practice lineup break is 95 and my match play highest break is 71, this is a colossal effort. On to 66. Now, can I stun the black in and cannon into the red? nearest the left middle to develop it into a possible position if i don't manage to get that then i should have some sort of shot on the red to um, yellow pocket on the side cushion but as you can see that one's just missed and anyway it was the wrong side of it to develop it nicely but it's gone in and we're up to 73 this is insane Right, drop this one in. 
sort of gentle, stunny screw for the yellow into the green pocket. Uh, but there we go. So, 73. I, As I say here, I am not going to beat that. Um, this wasn't my first or second attempt at this. This was probably, I don't know, eight or ninth. But as I'm uh, nowhere near the standard of any of the gentlemen that are on the screen now, I can be quite happy with that result. See you next time.